Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Oceanus. When it comes to transporting heavy machinery and newly manufactured vehicles from factories, particularly cars, the transportation industry has turned to an innovative solution, the roll-on, roll-off ship, or the Roro ship. This specialized vessel is capable of carrying thousands of cars at once, with greater capacity and enhanced safety measures than a container ship. At first glance, the Roro ship may look like an ordinary cargo vessel, but its interior reveals an optimized design for transporting vehicles and machinery. These ships feature multiple levels of parking decks, spacious cargo holds, and specialized ramps. The loading process is simple yet ingenious. Vehicles and machinery are driven directly onto the ship's decks using the loading ramps. The adjustable decks can accommodate vehicles of varying heights and sizes. Partition walls and securing mechanisms ensure that the cargo remains stable throughout the journey. A skilled crew handles everything from guiding vessels onto the decks to securing them in place. Vehicles and machinery are organized in rows, secured using lashing points, wheel chocks, and specially designed barriers. This arrangement maximizes the use of space and ensures that the cargo remains stable during transit. Vehicles and machinery are driven onto the ship using the ramps, and the crew guides them to designated parking spots. Once secured, the process is reversed at the destination port. The advanced ballast systems within the ship allow for even weight distribution, enhancing stability during transit. Several specialized Roro ship variants have emerged to cater to different transportation needs. The Conro ship, for example, is a hybrid of a Roro and a container ship that maximizes efficiency by utilizing the lower deck for vehicle storage and the upper deck for container stacking. Additionally, the Ropax type offers not only wheeled cargo transportation, but also onboard passenger accommodations. These diverse ship designs highlight the industry's commitment to maximizing space, efficiency, and utility. Leading the Roro ship industry is Hogue Auto Liners known for producing one of the largest Roro ships capable of carrying over 6,900 standard-sized cars. This colossal ship boasts an impressive parking deck area spanning 60,000 square meters, equivalent to 10 football fields. What truly sets Hogue Autoliners apart is its commitment to versatility. While the primary focus is on vehicles, these Roro ships can accommodate a diverse range of cargo types. In addition to cars and trucks, the company's ships can transport heavy machinery, construction equipment, mining gear, and agricultural machinery. Hogue Auto Liners has mastered the loading and unloading process, developing specialized roll trailers to accommodate various cargo sizes. For extended cargo, such as trains, Extended length roll trailers have been introduced. Likewise, low deck height roll trailers enable the handling of oversized cargo with precision. One of the most notable loading and unloading ports in Northern Europe is the Copenhagen Malmo port. Since collaborating with Toyota in 2003, this port has grown rapidly with an annual handling capacity of about 400,000 vehicles and 15 different manufacturers. This port has shown exceptional efficiency and safety with an incredible low rate of vehicle damage during the process. Out of 10,000 vehicles, only three are reportedly damaged. This seamless loading on the Hogue is also possible due to the advanced systems of pulleys and trackers on the vessel. Beyond Roro ships, the R-Rack Vehicle Container Loading System 
offers an innovative solution for traditional cargo ships. This system eliminates the need for forklifts during loading, using specially designed racks and pulleys within containers. The process is streamlined and swift, involving the manual lifting of vehicles onto racks. This loading system has proven significantly more efficient than conventional methods, ensuring the safe and efficient transport of vehicles. Environmental concerns have prompted innovations in row-row vessel design. Many vessels are equipped with energy-efficient engines that comply with emission standards. Some even integrate renewable energy resources, such as solar panels and wind turbines, to reduce their carbon footprint. When the ships reach the port, they park the cars based on where they need to go. The ship's door is like a bridge and it lowers down, acting as a way for the cars to go in and out. A driver who's ready will then drive the parked car onto the ship and go to a specific area on the ship's deck, following a plan that says where each car should be placed. This plan is important so that the ship stays balanced. Each car has a special number put on its window. While loading happens, there are people who watch to make sure everything goes safely and smoothly. The heavier cars usually go at the back of the ship because it's easier to take them off later. After the cars are parked on the ship, they're secured so they don't move during the journey. They use straps and special ties to keep the cars in place. Heavy cars use strong chains to secure them. Once all the cars are secured, there's a check done by the company that made the cars. They want to make sure everything is okay and there are no problems. They also check if the cars are tied down properly. When the check is done, the ship can start its trip to where it needs to go. When it gets to the other port, they start taking the cars off. The people in charge of securing the cars remove the ties, and then the cars are checked again to see if anything happened during the trip. After the check, they give the new cars some final touches according to what the customer wants. Then they send the cars to the showrooms where people can buy them. Apart from using special ships for cars, they can also use regular cargo ships. In this case, they put the cars into big containers first. These car containers go below the regular cargo containers. This way they don't need a forklift to move the cars and it's faster. First, one car goes into the container and gets lifted by using chains. Then they put another car under the first one, and they keep doing this for more cars. This system is better and quicker than the usual ways of putting cars into containers. And that's it. You can watch our next video here. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.